Good morning, everyone. This is Rishali. In our last lectures, we discussed about Unit One and Unit Two of Processor Architecture, and we also discussed about some practicals related to Processor Architecture. I have mentioned the link of Processor Architecture playlist in below description box. In this session, we will discuss about the microcontroller interrupts. Means everything about interrupts. So let's see. so following points we will cover in this session that is introduction and examples of interrupts their types interrupt vector table source of interrupt interrupt versus polling then steps of execution and enabling disabling interrupts so these all points we will cover in this session so before move forward to the interrupts just uh, look at this diagram so this diagram show the exact working of interrupts how microcontroller handle the interrupts just consider that microcontroller can perform a particular task that is the current task and if any interrupts are occur interrupt signals is generated so at that time microcontroller stop the task and uh, they save the current status of the current task and they service the interrupt after servicing interrupt they again resume the current task so this is microcontroller service the interrupts i will give you another example regarding this just consider that when you reading a particular book right this is your current task and at that time your phone is ringing so you stop uh, reading and receive the call means you give the service to the interrupt and after completing the call you again start reading right so in this way microcontroller service the interrupt so let's see so the first point is about interrupt and examples so just consider that interrupts is a particular signals that given to the particular hardware and software device to the processor so uh, this is the work of microcontroller they give immediate attention to the interrupt they solve the interrupt and after that they resume their current task so when an interrupt occur controller complete the execution of the current instruction and they give service to the interrupt service routine and interrupt handler so interrupt handler handle the all the interrupts and after that microcontroller resume their current task so uh, sometimes this interrupts also stop operating system current work first high priority interrupt need to give the services so interrupt service routine tells the processor or microcontroller what to do when interrupts are occur so this is a concept of interrupt there are some examples like uh, when you click on print option but there are some paper jam in printer so at that time hardware interrupts is occur next example is a uh, disk drive is ready to receive more data suppose your memory is full so at that time interrupt is occur next example is control alt and delete when you press control alt and delete key so at that time they interrupt the current process and your task manager is open so in this way uh, different interrupts are occur related to hardware and softwares so basically there are two types of interrupts hardware interrupts and software interrupts so generally hardware interrupts is an electronics uh, signals okay they send a particular interrupts to the processors and this interrupts are generated from disk controller or any external peripheral devices or hardware devices just take one example when you press a key of keyboard or move the mouse at a time particular hardware interrupts are triggered so they cause the processor to read the keystroke and mouse positions right so these are the hardware interrupts next example is software interrupts so software interrupts are generally caused by some internal peripherals or internal software devices so these signals are sent to the microcontroller uh, just take one example the example of software interrupts are divide by zero error so at that time arithmetic logical operations runs a command divide by zero error sir occur so this is a software interrupts so at that time microcontroller need to solve this interrupt and give the service to this interrupt so these are the hardware and software interrupts hardware interrupts occurred by some hardware devices and software interrupts are occurred by some softwares or internal peripheral devices now the next is interrupt vector table so interrupt vector table also stands for ivt so interrupt vector table hold the address of all the interrupt service routine for various interrupts just see here in this table uh, there are interrupts are divided into the two types that is high priority interrupt and low priority interrupt so uh, microcontroller need to give the attention to the high priority interrupt first 
and after that low priority interrupt so for this purpose in interrupts there is a one bit that is priority bit when priority bit is equal to 1 that means that is high priority interrupt and when priority bit equal to 0 it means low priority interrupt so this all interrupts are stored into the ram location into the particular address so high priority interrupts are stored at the address of 0008h into the primary memory and low priority interrupts address is 0018h and power on reset address is 4 times 0h so in this way interrupt vector table shows to the microcontroller which types of interrupts are generated so if it is high priority interrupt they give the first attention to that and if low priority interrupts are there so they first solve high priority interrupt then they give attention to the low priority interrupt so in this way interrupt vector table show the address of particular interrupts and in this way interrupt service routine give the service to the interrupt for solving purpose now the source of interrupts so there are two ways to uh, interrupts are generate that is using hardware and using softwares so uh, we discussed peak microcontroller pin diagram in last session so in this pin diagram there are total 40 pins and there are total five ports right so port b this port b generate the interrupts they show the information related to the interrupts and pin number rb0 rb1 and rb2 they handle this interrupts int0 int1 and int2 in peak 18 microcontroller there are total three interrupts pins are there int0 int1 and int2 again there are uart pins are there and adc analog to digital converter pins are there so these pins are generate the interrupts now using softwares there are different timers are there that is timer 0 timer 1 and timer 2 and also there are some ccp pins like capture compare pulse width modulation pins so these pins are also showing the interrupts so these are the source of interrupts because of this interrupts are generate now the next concept is interrupts and polling see there is only one microcontroller and many other devices are connected to the microcontroller and this is the work of microcontroller to give the services to each and every devices so microcontroller use two ways for giving the services for example polling or interrupt just take one example suppose there is a processor and processor having different devices like printer scanner keyboard mouse everything is connected to the processor right and processor gives processing power to each and every devices whatever they required right when you press the key of the keyboard so at the time keyboard required processing power right when you give the print a uh, command to the printer so at that time printer required processing power in this way so microcontroller give processing power and give services to each and every devices so it has two ways polling and interrupt so uh, before move forward to the polling and interrupt just take one example suppose we have many external devices attached to the cpu right like mouse keyboard scanner and printer so these devices also need cpu and attention cpu processing power suppose cpu is busy in displaying pdf and when you click on windows media player icon on the desktop means cpu does not have any idea when an event is occur when user press any button cpu doesn't have any idea about that so at that time this interrupts are generated or they give the attention to the cpu and as per every action cpu give the processing power so this that's why interrupts and polling is occur first uh, we will discuss about polling so polling is a state of continuous monitoring okay just see in this diagram in this below diagram so see here mcu means microcontroller okay and device a device b device c so just consider that that is printer scanner and keyboard okay so in polling uh, polling state whatever the microcontroller is perform see microcontroller first check that device a required processing power means printer is required processing power or not then microcontroller check device b is required processing power or not then microcontroller check device c is required processing power or not means polling means microcontroller continuously checking status of other devices which device required the processing power or which device required servicing needs or operations right so they continuously check this thing 
and if printer is required processing power then microcontroller give processing to that but at that time scanner is required processing power you need to scan something so interrupts are generated so microcontroller give service to the scanner this is a concept of polling so the pro this problem can be addressed using interrupts right so this is a polling means microcontroller continuously serving each and every devices and on the opposite of that see here this is a interrupt so what interrupt exactly is see here this is microcontroller device a device b and device c printer scanner and keyboard for example suppose when you press the key means device c generates a signal so microcontroller give the processing power to keyboard a okay here microcontroller does not continuously monitor the devices right in polling microcontroller continuously check which device or having the processing power but here if a interrupts are generated then only microcontroller give the processing power suppose in a second diagram device b required processing power for example scanner if you want to scan something you give the command for scanning so scanner required processing power so they give the interrupts to the microcontroller right and microcontroller solving and give the service to the device b so this is a example or this is a division ab about polling versus interrupt so in in polling they continuously check microcontroller continuously check which device required processing power but in interrupt if any device required processing power they generate the interrupt and microcontroller gives the interrupt so the controller is not required to regular monitor status so every uh, devices having the inbuilt interrupts generation processing is required so here interrupt the controller respond only when interruption occur so this is a interrupt now the next is steps to execute an interrupt so uh, just i have already discussed one diagram at the initial starting of this session so these are the steps of this execution of interrupt see when interrupts occur microcontroller finish current instruction execution if there is low priority interrupts are there and if there is high priority interrupts are there microcontroller stop the current task after that they store next instruction address into the program counter there is one program counter program counter handle every instruction address and stack memory having showing the current instruction which instruction is currently performed so this all information are stored into the program counter and stack memory so after finishing current instruction microcontroller check program counter and stack memory which one is a current address and current address is interrupt address then microcontroller uh, check interrupt vector table so which types of interrupts are there okay and after that interrupt service routine generate interrupt service routine handle the interrupt they solve the interrupt and after that after executing all the instruction after solving the interrupt the isr give the signal return from interrupt and after that it restore the program counter and status of before interrupt request and again after uh, again microcontroller continue the execution of initial instruction sequence right so in this way these steps are required for execution of interrupt now enabling and disabling interrupts so for enabling and disabling interrupt pic 18 microcontroller having a interrupt register and there are total 7 bits in this interrupt registers and uh, interrupt register bits that is uh, just see here bit number 7 that is gie global interrupt enable bit when enable all interrupts at that time this bit is 1 and when you disable all the interrupts at that time this bit is zero next one is pei that is peripheral interrupt enable bit means any peripherals devices related interrupts are there so microcontroller enable this bit otherwise this bit is zero next when any timer related interrupts are there or timer overflow interrupts are there then this timer zero ie this bit is one otherwise zero now next bit 4 that is int 0 ie when external interrupt enable bit is there any external uh, due to external devices interrupts are there so at that time this bit is 1 otherwise this bit is 0 and last one rb ie that is rb port change interrupt enable bit when rb port is change port a to port b in this way changing ports are there 
so this bit is enable that is one otherwise this bit is zero so in this way interrupt register handle enable and disabling of interrupts this is all about interrupts hopes you understood each and every points related to interrupts thank you keep watching